What's up, my nerd friends? So, Alex Fiction will be released in a couple hours, actually. And as you can see here, the time is shown on the screen. July 26, 2022 and 8 p.m. PDT. You can check what's the time on your time zone over there. For me, it's 11 a.m. GMT plus 8. So yeah, this is a game I'm pretty excited for quite some time now. I actually cover it in my upcoming gacha game in a nutshell video as well. And yeah, I'm just gonna make a video just to kind of let you guys know what this game is about and give you a little bit of a early prep video, I guess, something like that, because I've done my research I might as well share it with you all. So the way I do my research is watching Ebiwar stream and true stream. So they actually already did a live stream of the game before the game even launched, just for like promotional sake. So how does the game work? It's actually pretty simple. It's a turn-based RPG, but with the twist of having a panel on the bottom of the screen. So this panel will decide how much damage you do and also will decide whether you can use your skill or not. Whenever you connect three panels, which is the little orb thing you see, you will get a skill panel. And when you break the skill panel, you will use the special skill that your character used. And for each character, they have different types of special skill. Um, some character can heal, some characters just do a lot of damage, some character can buff the, your teammates or something like that. It varies. And if you happen to break a skill panel alongside with two other same color panel, at least you will get an upgraded panel. So ideally, you want to connect as many three panels together as possible. And ideally, you want to connect your skill panel with other panel as well. So it can keep the levels of your skill panel going as high as possible within a time period. So if you are very skilled at the game, you can potentially get the multiplier really, really high and do a lot of damage. And this is what the difference between Odo and you. I mean, Odo would just try to click as fast as possible they won't try to maximize the skill panel level so if you want to be doing high damage you do need to be good at manually which is what i like about the game it is very very easy to get into but it's actually quite hard to master so that's pretty much the basis of the game i know you guys didn't come here for this you guys came here for the tier list and as for the tier list unfortunately there's none because the game is new so there's no existing server we can look at to get a reference there's only the closed beta which is not finalized anything can change so kind of take this as a grain of salt but if you want kind of like a reference point which you should go for because it is very important there is a beginner banner that you cannot skip so you have to summon that banner it's like a alongside with the tutorial and in that banner you will get a guaranteed three star which is the highest rank in the game so there is three star two star and then one star only three ranks and of course three star being the strongest and for the close radar there's only i think around 29 characters is review let me check 26 so in close beta there's only 26 characters and in the launch of the game i believe there is more than 26 units there is probably 41 or something around there because they are showing a lot more units in the twitter as well possibly they are actually in the game so even though we have this kind of closed beta tier list it's not actually like a very very good representative of the actual tier list of the game but if you like what you're seeing in these characters if you want the link of this document i will link it in the description so yeah so three star as you can see we have one two three four five five currently available uh, for us to play in a closed beta and out of all of them actually every single one of them is great uh pretty much just go for who you like the top three is actually dps and these two are kind of like a support so Lancelot, which is an earth attacker, if you didn't know, this game also have elemental systems. It's kind of similar with Alchem Star, except there is also a dark and light element which counter each other. So Lancelot is an earth attacker, and this is probably one of the best unit, I guess, quote unquote best. She can ignore defense and do additional damage, but the problem is her passive is a little bit hard to utilize, meaning that only if you have three earth allies in your team, you can get her passive so Lancelot is a unit that you kind of need a mono team to function and starting out you can go for Lancelot I honestly no problem if you like her she's uh, really strong but I personally would go for Musashi just because I like her design a little bit more she's just more like cheerful 
and Lancelot is like really angry. I, I don't like someone who is always so angry looking at me, you know? <laughs> but yeah, Musashi is cute and her passive is pretty cool. Whenever you only have one attack type unit in your team, you will boost your physical attack by a very significant amount. And this is good starting out because you most likely don't have a resource to level up your units. And if having one attack unit that you invest every single resource into will help out your early game a lot. This is what I feel at least. So I probably will go for Musashi unless I can find better waifus that is released in the global race then i'll probably go for that then there's also amarios and which is a light unit like attacker debuffer and this is like the only unit that can stun the enemy or something which is like binding pretty cool as well hippocrates a really strong buffer not really buffer it's like debuff remove and healers i don't even know what this name is aclepius a really good wood healers you know, all those kind of stuff. But again, the tier list is non-existent because we don't really know what units will come out in the global release of the game. But there is some the theory crafting if you actually want to go for the Coles beta team, I guess. So we have the Earth team, we have Cleopatra, Lancelot, and Gillis. And the fourth unit can be whatever. Uh, yeah, you can kind of just reference this. I actually don't know too much why they work so well but you can kind of just read the description again the document is in the description but you know you can just watch this i mean <laughs> it's on the screen right now you don't really have to go for it right and then you have the water team kojiro viane hippocrates and musashi and then you have fire team musashi and antonette which is actually a pretty hot girl <laughs> let me show you i like antonette because she reminds me of Smokey. You have the sunglasses. You have the white hair twin tail. I kind of like her. This is why I kind of want to go with Musashi as well. Because I can get Musashi and internet together. And then to the next topic, which is re-rolling. So re-rolling is... There is two things you need to know. So there is one re-roll, which is the in-game re-roll. And you have the first banner you get. You have infinite re-roll on that specific summon. So the first summon you get, which is a tutorial summon. You have infinite re-roll. So you can roll as many times you want. One. I'm not too sure if the rate is guff that you can only get one three stars or not. I assume so because or else people are just gonna spam that forever until they get like 10, 6, 3 stars or something like that. But yeah, uh, I think at least going for one three star and one two star will be something to go for. And that's probably what I would do. I would go for Pusashi and Internet. And then there is the other type of reroll, which is the reroll we are all familiar with, which is multi instance and using like a bunch of amulet rerolling at once using your premium current and see and stuff uh for that it's actually a pretty easy one so if you check in game you have the menu button here and there is delete player data and this is great because that means you don't have to go for your salted email option you don't have to actually go for multi instancing uh create instance and delete instance those kind of stuff you can just delete your data and then reroll that way which is very good i mean this game makes real so easy i'm all for it right and i also want to talk about some other stuff like collab so if you are a fan of vtubers they will have more niji sanji collab so your favorite vtubers will play the games and you can watch along kind of you have niji sanji your pro life which is gaogura and kiwawa i mean i'm a fan of gura i'll probably watch that as well Shark! the game will also have a collab with Cytus on august which is kind of teased out and uh, it's a expected so it is high chance but it's not finalized yet i guess Cytus is actually a game i used to play as well it's a pretty good written games and i'm kind of excited to see where they take this the game the alice fiction the game actually have pretty good music as well so I guess that's one of the reasons why they want to collab with Cytus. And finally, my thoughts for the game. So I think the game is very cool. The panel style combat is definitely nothing I have seen before, at least in that way. And I think it can produce a very fun gameplay loop. The game also have PvP and like your usual gacha stuff like powers. And in the future, they will have co-op as well and guilds. Currently, there's no co-op yet but they will implement in the future and they kind of said it from the developers in the discord and yeah the game is just very clean it's very pg-13 the characters are not like sexualized at all i mean it's probably one of those games that if your friends see it if your colleagues see it they will not be looking you in disgust yeah it's a cute little game fun little kind of game that you can pass time on your train 
just fun game overall, right? And the story is also fully voice acted, which is what I like. And so far, I have never heard even any negativity from the community, which is what I really, really like about the game. So usually you have games like from Netmarble, like Nino Kuni, for example. The game looks amazing, but then the community hates it because it's greedy, there's NFT, all those kind of stuff. But this game has none of that. Everyone play it, loves it. So I'm pretty excited to try it out and I hope you guys too. If you guys do decide to play a game, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I'll see you next video. Maybe I'll make more video for this game. Who knows? But enough rambling, I'll see you all next time. Peace.